Lust die Kranken und Hirnen treulich. Oh, oh, Hüde, ach, Hüde, ach, Hüde, wie will die Stimme. I can't do it. Yeah, people separate women, particularly separate body issues from yeah. feminism, and that's like ludicrous. But that's why it doesn't surprise me that a woman who's like addressing those issues completely like neglects, totally. like, yeah. Yeah. Well, and what she said, at first she was like, no, I didn't do anything. And I'm like, that's not my face. That's not my face. Yeah. You shaved down my chin. Like, that's not my face. And then once we caught her, because Shervin was like, he like, sent an email of like, this is the photo I took, this is what this looks like. And she was like, well, it's part of my artistic expression. Um, no. Oh, so, so she admitted to it. Yeah, she yeah. finally admitted to it, and then she said it was her artistic expression, and then I was like, I want her off of the project. Like, she did what she needed to, like, we're, we're gonna fix it. this is our, my artistic expression, like, making your face, what? Do you know how many photographers said that they don't wanna shoot plus size women because it's just not their aesthetic? That's like such a thing. Like, I, well, I so yeah. still it's a thing. What do you oh, mean yeah. still? Yeah, yes. very much. Look at books or the magazines. Like, Look at the fucking TV. Look everywhere. Yeah. I don't know. I just I I maybe it's like where where I'm looking and like the people that I yeah I'm friends but, with. Like, I know that I there's certain editorial that I don't get picked to shoot because of the content of my work. Mm. That's just a reality that I know. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like. Yeah. How many how many women do you shoot with regularly? Me? Yeah. Like women photographers? Mm -hmm. Not that many. Okay, how many of them are fat? None of them. Anastasia. How many of them are Latina? None of them. Anastasia. None of them, yeah. Ask me how many black women I know who are photographers. Zero. I don't know any. Okay. Ask me how many black men I know who are photographers. Two. Yeah, same. Yeah. When it's your reality, you're very cognizant of how, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. when I'm sitting in a room, I'm very cognizant of like all of the ways in which I'm marginalized, sitting with people who are making decisions. Yeah, for sure. And I see, I, when I'm at that table, and they're making decisions about women that they have no understanding of, yeah. like, yeah. it's apparent. My family is obsessed with their weight. Everybody talks about their weight all the time. And so I've always felt like the, sort of the shame that my mom had with her body was, always, always, her, I always heard it in the house. And I just felt that the shame about her thighs was ricocheting into the shame of my thighs. And it wasn't until I got older and I was sort of out of the house where I was like, wow, they were so obsessed with dieting and about reaching this sort of arbitrary goal. And I just wish I could have said, throw your fucking scale away, eat whatever you want to, eat stuff that makes you feel good, work out if it makes you feel good. No one's gonna, like, no one is allowed to tell you what's good or bad for your body other than you. Watching it end, again and again. I feel it in ways you follow me. Drift into places I should leave. So close to the edge of something so perfect. We were too scared to take the leap. I'm missing the way. I loved when I was dancing. That was a really special time for me. I got into a car wreck as I was around that time and I, I tore all the muscles and ligaments in my right leg. 
So I wasn't able to dance for a year and I was on crutches for a couple months. And it was like, I was really devastated and I was really depressed and I was also the insecurity of being like, of like, I'm gonna gain all this weight and I'm not gonna be pretty anymore. And I felt so pretty when I was 17. And I, ever since that, I took remedial dance classes. Every dance class I went into, I would apologize. I would just, I would be like, I'm sorry, I know I'm the fattest person here. It was really weird. And I remember running into someone that I was in a class with and I did the same thing. I ran into her on the street and I was like, uh, she said something, she was like, your solo was really beautiful at the end of class. And I was like, oh, thank you. I know I was like the fat person there, but blah, blah. And she was like, what are, you what are you talking about? And I remember like hearing myself being like, that's weird. That's weird of me to say that and to apologize for my body. And so I'm just like, fuck it. I'm not apologizing for the way I look. <laughs>